So Honestly. where can people be caught off guard? Oh. Business cards. Um, they can be caught off guard whenever they think they're off duty. Now, the trouble is, a lot of people think they're off duty at a party, Christmas party, PR company runs it, gets a load of clients in, gets a load of journalists in. The journalists all think victims. Uh, the victims all think party. Mm, lovely. So what I do at parties, I, I drink bitter lemon, uh, not bitter lemon, I, I drink <laughs> tonic water with lemon in and ice and I pretend it's gin and of course the person next to me is matching me drink for drink and uh, not realising that I haven't got any alcohol and uh, gradually they slide into oblivion confessing all on the way. Oh, that's just one. Um, um, like exhibitions, the worst places at exhibitions are on the exhibition stand because we know you're on duty, you know you're on duty so what's the point? And the press office of course that's the same thing. But if we go in the bar, you wonder why journalists go to bars? Well, that's the answer. We're more likely to get something out of you in a bar or in a restaurant or even in the hotel than we are on the exhibition stand or in the press office. Where else? Airport departure lounge? That's a cracker, especially if it's business class. I mean, I reckon in my career, you know, 30 odd years, I've picked up at least six stories in airport departure lounges just by sitting near people and listening, ear wigging. And if they're doing it all in public, well, they're doing it all in public. My mate, oh, I won't mention his name, of course, no. But he was on an aeroplane once and he saw a confidential document between two major companies, uh, some kind of agreement between two major computer companies. So he took a photo over the man's shoulder of this confidential document that he was reading in a public place. My friend then read all the words and went back to his seat, wrote a story. When the plane got a few miles from Chicago, well, I say a few, 120 miles or so from Chicago, he borrowed the phone on, on, on board the plane. In those days, he went up the front and said, can I borrow the phone? And a satellite call was patched through to Computer Weekly and it became the front, front page story. And of course, these two com computer companies went absolutely berserk. And the editor said, well, I have a photo. So if you're in a public place, keep it, keep, keep the lid on it, yeah? Because there isn't anywhere, really. Well. Well, holidays, maybe. If you're on holiday, you could say, can we talk when we're back in the office? How about that? <laughs> Good stuff.